What is up guys, and welcome to part 6 of the Pokemon Red and Blue version walkthrough series. Now, it's Thanksgiving, and uh, I'm going to apologize ahead of time for being a little quiet in the beginning. I didn't want to disturb anyone here at my house. But, anyway, let's get on with it. Alright, and let's get started. Now, where we left off, we were going into the... Celadon City. Do we have acceptable Pokemon? Yes, we do. Now, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to deposit some Pokemon we don't need, like Marcel and Sandshrew. Hmm, and Bellsprout. Why not? Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to come this way. And we're going to come up. And here is going to be this giant route of nothing we can get into. So, we're actually going to come right to this building. We're going to go inside. We're going to go up these stairs all the way to the top. And we're going to go to this guy. He knows everything. Yes, yes. Well, we're gonna take Eevee. Just kind of sneak away. Now it's gonna be level 25, so it's gonna need some training. But we got this. All right, I'm gonna go all the way back down. And see what's going on in this town. Now right here is the same building we were just in. There's really nothing in that building. So over here is the largest Pokemart in the game. Here you can buy just about everything, from uh, the basic items all the way up to stones and TMs. And there's also a game corner here. Now, we can't do anything in there yet. That fast forward button though. Anyway, so if we come down. Talk to one of these guys. Maybe they'll give us something. Oh, look. This man here. Oh. Of course. What item do I have that I don't want? Ugh. Those item restrictions kill me. Alright. Well, we can sell that nugget. Let's do that. So as you see, we come here. We have to go up at least one flight of stairs to get to any checkout counter. And here's the TM floor. Now we're going to sell our nugget. Get that 5G. Alright. No, we want to go down. I said down. Now, there is a little pond here. As it can be seen right here, you can use your old rod and you will get 100% chance of that. Solid Magikarp. It's a good choice. So, I recommend not doing that. Um, 
No, if we come this way. I lied. There is a chance I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, there's still a chance. Oh, that's why. It's the cuddleable bush. Would probably help if I could read. Alright. <laughs> Here we are. So, with this cuddleable bush, or you can go all the way around, and that is where you'll find your, uh, PPL. Now, well actually, we're going to come to that part later, as it's kind of key to the story. Here, you can exchange your coins for Pokemon. Now, the coin prices are different in red and blue. Um, I'll see if I have them with me at the moment. Let's see. Da da da. Da 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 da. Yes, I do. So in red, it'll be Dratini at 2,800, Scyther at 55, and Porygon at 9,999. Uh, blue will have Pinsir at 25, Dratini at 46, and Porygon at 65. Uh, the one, this one here, uh, as you see, this is blues. Reds will have an Abra at 180, Clefairy at 500, and Nidorina at 1,200. And the last one over, there's Dragon Rage. Uh, these are both versions. Dragon Rage at 3300, Hyper Beam at 5500, and Substitute at 7700. So, yeah. Now, while I'm here, while I'm here, uh, let me discuss the uh, department store. On the second level, the cashier will sell us Great Balls, Super Potions, Revives, Antidotes, Burn Heals, Ice Heals, Awakenings, Paralyze heals and super repels. On the right, the TM1 sells us Double Team, Reflect, Razor Wind, Horn Drill, Egg Bomb, Mega Punch, Mega Kick, Takedown, and Submission. Uh, the third floor, there's nothing for sale, but we can get a TM18 counter from the clerk at the desk. Uh, the fourth floor, we can get a Poke Doll, and then a, either a Firestone, Thunderstone, Waterstone, Leafstone, or and. You can get any of those, they're 2100, the doll is 1000. The fifth floor, we got the uh, X attack defenses, all that jazz, and then the vitamins, so HP up, proteins, etc. Uh, and then at the top, there's a vending machine, which actually we have to go to because they're, the guards are thirsty, and they do such a great job that we kind of want to repay them for their service of not letting us work, go where we want to go. Wow. Well, that sucked. All the way back up. We're going to be that person who rides the elevator up and down. Annoys the other people in the elevator. Okay, we're up top, and now we got to go one more up to get to the roof. Now that little girl there... I hate my life. Um... Don't mind me, just going to the Pokemon Center. No, nah, okay. Having too much fun. There we go. Go to Blue's PC, deposit. What are we gonna deposit? Mm -hmm. 
pause as many things as we can. Pee up, why not? Alright. So now, let's go back. Now, if we go back up to the top. extra water. We got ice bean. Now if we give her a soda pop, we get rock slide. And finally, we give her a lemonade. We could try attack. Now that's all you get from her, but it works. All right, so we don't need to come back here. Make sure you get that extra fresh water. So now we actually need to get Bell Sprout again because I'm a ponce and I forgot. Sprout. Just make sure it has cut. Yeah, we need cut. And now we're going to come down. We're actually going to take the gym challenge. Our Pokemon are strong enough. I mean, maybe not our Eevee, but... And we're going to come up. We're going to talk to this old man. What a nice old man. Oh, that's rude. My favorite. Alright, we're just gonna spam. Absolutely. This is fantastic. We haven't landed anything. I'm interested to see- oh, we did get a move off. We're pro. We got a move off. We just got owned. Now, oh, I refuse to give in. Yeah, I refuse to give it.
feel like that one girl from wreck and Ralph just, you know, picks Lexia, just teleport. Now, we could go and face the gym leader right now. What fun is that? Again, your Pokemon should be about level 30 when you take this gym, which is why we're kind of just training Eevee. Okay. Oh yeah, there's background. Okay. No. I'm not the peeping Tom. So nice of you to just immediately assume I am. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. I was training that, don't you know? Bellsprout, do your thing. Alright, and now we're gonna come over here. God, ooh. I'm telling you, I just shouldn't be allowed to have one of these buttons. Don't worry, I'll be doing more and I won't be able to have one, so... I lied. You need to face three. I love the paralysis. It's by far my favorite. Hey, Giotto, just take it out. As you can see, Pidgeotto is the greatest thing that's ever happened to us. Of course. Good job, Pidgeotto. No, you're gonna faint soon, but it'll be okay. The last person we have to face in here is the gym leader, Erica. Yes, yes, gym leader, yada yada. God, she talks a lot. Now we're just gonna go straight to Pidgeotto. Look at all of that. Now, I am fast-forwarding through this, mainly because this video is going to be fairly long if I don't. One. And two, it is Thanksgiving, so. I figured. I should at least be with my family for 
a few moments. Maybe only two. Alright, so we got the badge, and we got Mega Drain. Alright. Get out of here. And now we have... A few more things to do. going to be smart this time. Put Bellsprout back. We don't need that anymore. We're going to go straight here. We're going to deposit things I don't need. I can. And we're gonna save here. But now is where it begins. It's kind of like part two. We're gonna go into the game corner here. We're just gonna talk to a bunch of people. You know, basically, everyone here will give you something. Basically. Maybe not. No, I believe there's more coins than that. Maybe. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're not going to use them anyway. Uh, if you want to see what this games look like, we'll play one. We'll bet three. Bring it on. Oh, yeah. Nope. I know my limit. Alright, we're going to leave. See what this guy wants. Well, that was rude. Just talking to you. Ooh, eradicate my foe. Almost as bad as Pikachu. Get out. Huh. He listened. Yes, let's push it. We will hold our ground. Way to hold your ground. What we got over here? Hmm. Can't open it. We're gonna sneak up on this guy. Take it out. Oh, you dare faint us. Now you must be slain. Hmm, up, yes. Now, there is... 
Yeah, see there are coins scattered around the ground. I did find that out. I'm not going to bother pointing them out. I'll, ha I'll let you hunt for them. Because... I mean, unless you guys want me to. Post comments, the comment section. I will do a little video on where they can be found. I just don't feel it's necessary. No one uses coins anyway, and if you do, you're going to be spending money. You don't need that extra ten. Alright, for here... There is a lot of Team Rocket grunts. So... Oh good, escape rope. We can't do anything, so we're gonna go even lower. And we are going to quick tech for days. Alright. We're gonna go up top. Beautiful. Now in order to get the item. Hmm, where are we gonna go? Yes. Now we can go back around. We can get this item. We're gonna get this item. down. You can really just kind of eye it. So when you go to the top, we're actually going to go this way. Don't go more, or even farther down. No, I went that way just to get the potion. But now you can get here. And we can't use this yet, because we need the key. Eevee's, Eevee's doing some damage. So I may be wrong. This may not be what I'm thinking of. Oh yeah, just... Alright, so there's nothing here until we can get our, uh... Yeah, no, this isn't what I'm thinking of. I'm the worst kind of person, though, alright. We gotta go up, and we're gonna heal. No, this... I forgot. 
I'm thinking of a later place where Team Rocket is that is a lot more complex. Just so we don't miss. We're gonna go down. Because we need that key card. Is it over here? No, but we do have a nice item. And. Nothing else. Alright. Just making sure. At the end of this little thing, I'm going to do... I'm just going to tell you where all the items are, in case I did miss something. Because, as again, I am trying to make this video quicker. Because it is Thanksgiving. But, if I see an item, I will get it for you. Hmm. None of these look favorable. Alright, so we have to go this way. And now, we're gonna head over here. I'm gonna take this guy out. Why? Because we can. Look at that, we're already level 30. We're basically the best. Alright, we're gonna take these stairs down. And we're actually gonna come to this guy. And... This guy's gonna be your new favorite guy. Cause here's our lift key. Now oh, that man looks evil. I cannot wait to crush his dreams. Not that I would ever do that, because we're the protagonist. We would never crush dreams of anyone. Just kidding. Alright, so now what we can do is we can come back up here. wrong way. this faster for you guys. Ugh. There we go. Now we're gonna use the elevator. Go to the bottom. Why don't we see what's going on over here? Or not? Hmm. Iron, another item I don't need. So, I'm pretty sure we just talked to that guy. I 
He didn't move. Or he didn't battle us, so. Duly noted. Okay, apparently now we're worthy of his time. Let's go, Venusaur. Take him out. Alright, you need to defeat both of them to open the door. to be healed. And we face this man, who is none other than Giovanni, the boss of Team Rocket. Now as you see, you could do this before Jim as well. It really doesn't matter. Eevee cannot take it out. We're all doomed. Use Growl in defense. Yes, yes. Utmost care. All that jazz. Ooh, item. And we got the Sylph Scope. So now we're going to do the final part of this video. We're actually just going to go up to every floor. Sorry, up to the last floor. Face this guy who has no idea what he just got himself into. Alright, and now we can leave. TM2. Apparently, I don't want these Pokeballs. Don't need TM10. So many things we don't need. Don't need the Moonstone for the 30th time. Anything else? Hmm. Mm. I'll even get rid of the rare candy. Why not? Now their Pokemon are healed. We're gonna go. Actually, what I'm gonna do... We're gonna go up. One... Two... We're not gonna get counter. We're just gonna go to here. Apparently we're gonna get a counter. Oh boy. Stop fast forwarding. Here we go. Yes, we want this.
and... We're gonna get this Thunderstone. Why, you ask? Well, it's very simple. We're going to take said Thunderstone. We're going to give it to said Eevee. This is a magical moment. Poof. We now have a Jolteon. It's amazing. This is how science works. Hmm. Tackle. Alright. Now we're gonna go back downstairs. Now we could. We'll actually do it now. We give him the fresh water we had. We're actually allowed to go through there now. Now, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna follow suit. Come down here. Go all the way over. And now the final part of our fun begins. See, the ghost turned into the ghastlies. And you get to meet some of the creepiest things in Pokemon. These channelers are by far the creepiest. <laughs> Not even words. Alright, I know we don't have many more. Let's heal up. No. There's one more. Nope, I lied. We'll take these stairs up. I'm just gonna keep going up. Be cursed with me. God, these never seem to amaze me. Alright. As you can see, Jolteon's holding its own. I'm not sure if that was a creepy saying or just a demand. Well. Yeah, these channelers seem to be possessed by ghosts here. So, you know, that's always a fun pastime. I enjoy doing that myself. Oh, and because I forgot to do it earlier, we'll do it in the midst of this battle. In the rocket base, we had the PP up on the basement floor one, in the bottom right plant pot. In the entrance hall, we did not get that. That was hidden. We have an escape rope in the basement floor, which we got. The hyper potion, the moonstone. There are two nuggets. One of them is hidden, and that one is on basement floor three in the empty... In the empty east center room, next to TM10, that one's hidden. We got Horm Drill, 
So we got the Super Potion, we got Double Edge, Rare Candy, HP Up, Razor Wind, with the Lift Key, Iron, Self Cup, yep. Oh, and there's a Super Potion behind Giovanni, in the machine. Alright, well, you know, you can never know too much. This is a wild Pokemon. We don't waste our time with those. Nor do we waste our time with... ...useless things. Just the creepiest soundtrack. <laughs> Alright, I might as well also give you the Pokemon list for here. Now, starting on floor one, which I probably already gave you, in a different track. I think and so. Either way. I don't know. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So, floor three. Uh, Gastly's are a 90% chance of those. There's a 9% chance for Cubone and a 1% chance for Haunter. Floor 4 is an 86 for Ghastly, a 9 for Cubone, and a 5 for Haunter. Uh, that is also the same for Floor 5. Uh, floor 6, Ghastly is 85, Cubone is 9, and Haunter is 6. Floor 7, uh, Ghastly is a 75. Haunter is 15, and Cubone is 10. And that's your stats for... there. Alright, we take them out. Also, I apologize if you can hear background noise. I will reiterate, it is Thanksgiving. So, I have people here saying all sorts of stuff. Oh, well, Nidorina is not going to uh, fare well against this. Not at all. Alright, we're going to attack. Again, these are ghost types. Looks like we found our white mage. All hail the white mage. Apparently there are zombies. It's always good to wake up to. You know. Heal up our Pokemon, you know. Oh, look, a nugget. That one was the creepiest. And I fast-forwarded it, I'm sorry. With the give me blood. It's just... So creepy. item. We're gonna get rid of this item. So Knit Arena is not gonna get much experience here, but that's okay. Take out these guys. Take another rare candy. Now those are the final stairs, I believe, so...
we're actually going to want Venusaur for there. Because, you know, it's always good to be prepared. Continue. Go all the way down. We're going to be challenged by this ghost. Which, for those of you who are paying attention, this is the dead mother of the Cubone, of which Team Rocket slain. And we defeat it, or I think you can run away. Either way, as long as you, you can't catch it, it won't let you. And now, we just have to come up here, defeat all these hooligans, defeat all these hooligans. So many hooligans. And the final one. Do 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 do. Slain. All right. I'm gonna talk to this man, Mr. Fuji. And we're gonna free him. And this is actually going to wrap up our video. So, um, I hope that this was still educational. We're gonna get a Poke Flute, which is going to wake the Snorlax. That is right directly below Lavender Town. Now, I'm actually gonna do some things before we head out. That way, I don't. Forget to do it next time. Anyway, we're gonna save, and that is all I do. Again, I hope this was educational, and I'm sorry for all the fast forwarding, but this would have been a very long video. Those are three parts that are fairly long. So, that is all. Professor Prometheus Pine out. Alright, now if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you liked what you saw, and you want to see more of the walkthroughs or any of my other series, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Alright, Professor Prometheus Pine, out.